So I'm staying in a hotel tonight and I'm having dinner in my room. I brought my Dash mini rice cooker with me and I thought I would cook some pasta for dinner. Counter cooking. No kitchen, no problem. But before I do that, I also brought along a salad and that is what I have in here. So this is a nifty little uh, food container. It's, I don't know what you call it. It's not actually, it's not like a bento box or anything, uh, but it has two compartments. It has a top compartment and a bottom compartment. And um, in the top compartment, I have some cut up veggies for the pasta. And in the bottom, I have my salad. So let's open this up and let's see how well it transported here. So that's what it looks like. It looks really good. The only issue I'm seeing is that the bottom of this um, does have a bunch of food debris on it. So if I put this down on the table, uh, it's going to get all dirty. So right now I'm just going to leave it on its side. So I made a salad with some fresh lettuce, tomato, black olives. I cut up some of those Hakurai turnips that I have from my farm share, some fresh raw sauerkraut, and then I put some dressing on this. So this should be really good. And then this is the utensil set that I have. I think I got this at Daiso. And this is a really cute set because it has two blue handles and you can make a fork with a handle you can make a spoon with a handle, or you can make chopsticks with a handle. So to eat my salad, I am going to assemble a fork. And there we have it. Another thing that I like about this food container is that it has stainless steel inside of it. So that's nice. It's now 9 p.m., which is like way later than I normally would eat dinner. So I guess the salad that I made like really filled me up. I also had some snacks this afternoon. I had some peanuts and raisins and um, some sparkling apple juice and some seltzer water. And I just got back from a walk. I did a total of four miles since I've been here. I went two miles earlier in the afternoon and then I just came back from another two miles. So this is what I brought with me. I have my Dash mini rice cooker and then I have this uh, Stanley pot. I brought this with me uh, because um, it has some containers inside, some storage containers. And then on the top here, you see these holes. So um, this helps drain the liquid out of the pot. So it's like a built-in colander kind of thing. So I have three small storage containers and then I have one larger container. And this Stanley pot fits very nicely in this mini rice cooker. Once I fill this with water, um, and turn the rice cooker on, this will heat up nicely. And what I have here in the large container is some lentil pasta. So I have lentil pasta, I have some olive oil, I have some grated cheese, and some Italian seasoning. And this will make a really nice pasta meal. So I just filled up the pot with some water, and I'm gonna press cook on the mini rice cooker. And I'm gonna add the cover, and I'll be back when that starts to boil. So then I'll put my pasta in. All right, let's see what's going on here now. Wow, wow. So it's like almost 9.30, it's like 9.25, so that took like 25 minutes. It's steaming up the camera. So I just added the pasta to the pot, but I wanna be really careful that I'm not spilling any water outside the pot or anything. And I'm just gonna give it a quick stir and I'm gonna cover it and then in 15 minutes these should be done but to be honest with you it's getting so late I don't even know if I should eat them because if I eat this late then I usually don't sleep well but we'll see what happens it's a few minutes later and the pot started almost boiling over so I took the lid off and it's doing better now without the lid on I just unplugged the rice cooker the noodles are done so I am going to drain them and I'll be right back I just drained the pasta and I also brought some vegetables with me in the top uh, portion of that food container. So I have some cut up tomatoes and some cut up zucchini. I'm going to add that to the pasta, some of it. I'm putting the rice cooker back on cook 
I just want to stir the veggies in to warm them up. I actually probably cooked too much pasta, but that's okay. I do have the mini fridge, so whatever I don't eat, I can just refrigerate and have for lunch tomorrow. I'm gonna add some of the Italian seasoning. I'm gonna add some of the grated cheese. And I'm gonna add some of the olive oil. I'm gonna stir everything together. It smells so good. <laughs> Everything smells so good. So ideally, I would let the tomatoes and zucchini cook down a bit more, but I am really hungry right now. So I'm just going to eat this like it is right now. They're just a little bit soft, but that's fine. It's, it's like a really fresh summer pasta. So here's the pasta. I'm eating it in the same container that I had the salad stored in. So it's really convenient for that purpose also. This is so good. The vegetables are warm. The tomatoes are warm. They're not, you know, completely cooked, but they're not totally raw either. They're almost like al dente. The same thing with the zucchini. If I was at home or if it wasn't as late as it is right now i would have let the veggies cook a little bit longer but they're really good like this because the pasta is soft so it's it's nice to have uh, more of a firmer texture to the vegetables but the flavor on this is excellent with the olive oil the grated cheese and the italian seasoning it's really good so thanks for joining me for dinner today in my hotel room and i hope this video is helpful for you thanks for watching I ended up eating the whole thing because it was so good. Also, I always make sure that I have a travel size dish soap and a sponge and a towel to dry uh, my pots or my dishes. So as you can see here, everything is sparkling clean right now.